So the last topic we're going to talk about this week is logical operators and something called short circuiting. And uh, let me go ahead and go to the console here and show you some stuff. So we've seen the two logical operators OR and AND. So you can write TRUE OR FALSE is TRUE. FALSE OR TRUE is TRUE. FALSE OR FALSE is FALSE. You can also say true and false is false. False and true is false. True and true is true. So from looking at these, it looks like and and or are just Boolean operators that take two Boolean values and return a Boolean value. Um, but in JavaScript, um, that's not exactly what's happening. What's happening is that OR is actually going to return the first non-false value. And I'm going to say false E, false like value, because type conversion applies here. So if I actually do something like this, dog or cat, in most languages, what this is going to do is it's going to convert dog to a true or false value. And in most languages, um, any non-empty string is considered true. And it's also going to convert cat to a Boolean value, which will also be true. And then the return result will be true. But what JavaScript is going to do is it's going to take the first non-falsy value, which is going to be dog, and that's going to be the return value from this OR. So we see we get the result dog here. And same thing with numbers. If we type 1 or 3, we actually get the number 1 coming back, not the number, not the Boolean value true. So why is this important, interesting, or useful? Well, oftentimes you'll have a variable like some value which you've gotten from a form or from, uh, from an AJAX query or who knows where. And you don't know whether that value is falsy or whether it's a real live value. So maybe somebody left a field blank in a form. So let's go ahead and say it's undefined, which is a falsy value. What's going to happen if I return some value or not specified. Well, I get the return value not specified. And how about if the value was specified? Now I get the return value. So this is a really handy and convenient way of uh, looking for undefined values or false values or whatever and replacing them with defaults. So this is also going to work since double quote, double quote, the empty string is considered a falsy value in JavaScript. I get the same thing. So that works correctly as well. Same thing with numbers. In numbers, let's say I had a variable called um, divisor, which is one. And then I also have a variable called numerator, which is 1. I can divide divisor over, I'm sorry, divide numerator over divisor. And that's, that works fine. But then what happens if divisor is 0 and I try doing the same division? Well, I get infinity, which may not actually be what I want. So let's say I can do this instead. I can say numerator over divisor or 1. So if divisor is 0, it's going to use 1 instead. Any other value of divisor, it will just use divisor. So 1. 
0.5, 1. Now the same goes with AND, and usually um, and this is going to be used if you want to evaluate um, another piece of code only if um, some condition is true. So the way I would write that is not divisor or numerator over divisor. So what this is going to do is if divisor is zero, it will just return true without trying to do the division. If divisor is a truthy value instead of a falsy value, then it's going to go ahead and do the division. So this part is false. It goes ahead and does the second part and returns the value. And of course you can string these together. So um, first name, last name, default value, so name is equal to first name or last name or default value. So here name is anonymous. If I've specified a first name, And then if I output name, I see it's Mark. And if I change first name to empty, and I set last name to Goodman, and then execute that again, now name is Goodman, and of course, if both of them are empty, as we saw before, I get anonymous. Now this will be more handy when we get to functions um, where you can just write a single function that's both having some side effect, doing something, and also can return a value. So for example, you might want to output a table, but only if a certain condition is met. And so it's really easy to use this sort of logical short circuiting in order to do things like that.